is up YouTube. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I meant to record my breakfast because it changed. I totally forgot. I was really excited, so I didn't record it. You may have noticed from the last video, if you watched it, which if you're here, you probably should have watched it. Blue, my coach, had me go get a burger and fries and then a second burger after that burger and fries to kind of refeed and fill my body out. Not a huge fan of that method, but he had me do it and I was like, cool, let's go. After that, came back home, I was as full as a house, took some check-in pictures, he loved the look. Now, keep in mind, I'm seven weeks out from my show. He has increased my food dramatically. So my carbohydrates, my fats have gone up pretty substantially from where we started just two weeks ago. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the two different diets here, what I was doing just last week and what I am doing now. This is only three days after that burger, so we had some time to see what the weight did after that burger. It dropped all the way back down to 209, which is awesome. And so we made the executive decision to increase food. So I'm super excited. Never done this before in a prep where I've actually increased food this far out. We'll see how it goes. He's planning to keep increasing food. He says that it's very old school. So his explanations aren't very scientific like mine and with my clients, but he says that as we increase the food, your metabolism is just gonna keep stoking that fire. I found that interesting. You know, we haven't changed any drugs to correlate with that. So it will be an experience for sure, but I want to take you guys with me to leg day. I'm gonna be donating blood today, which I'll talk about why that's important as we do that. And then three, I wanted to show you some more of those meals and how much I'm actually getting to eat on prep as I'm losing weight, right? As I'm getting leaner, I am eating more. It's super cool. Stay tuned for that. So we're gonna go hit legs as soon as Caitlin wakes up and you will get an awesome leg day out of it. I recommend you try this one. Seriously, give it a shot, see what you think. Shout out to Caitlin for getting me some new kicks. Some old Converse boys. Thanks, Caitlin. She said they're welcome. Cool. All right, folks, we are at destination Dallas. I'm honestly kind of in my feelings a little bit. For those of you who, you know, want to own a business, aspire to be wealthy and financially free, be aware that owning a business is the most time draining thing, emotionally draining thing that you'll ever do. Um, in comparison to prep, creating a business from scratch has been 30 times as hard. Like there's nothing I've ever done as hard as creating a business, operating and managing employees. It is, you will work more un unpaid hours in ever. Like there's nowhere else you'll be working this much in your life for as little bit of money. And it's not as glorified as people tend to make it. This morning, well actually, Two days ago, um, my tax guy emailed me and he's like, hey, you're getting a tax return. I was like, dude, that's crazy. Like, I didn't think I would. Surprisingly, like, paid in enough taxes to get a tax return. And then, um, you know, it turns out the IRS denied that. I and mean, we're trying to figure out why, and it's because, and it's not Caitlin's fault. It's, you know, my fault for not directing her through this, but she filed taxes as together with me without me knowing. So she, she used my um, income on her taxes and that made it look like I don't pay taxes to the government. So I was fined because of that and I owe a more money than most people pay for cars. We'll just say that. So it is stressful and especially you know, when you're in prep and she's got all this shit going on. hard you know? so we are going to go in there and um, just focus get a good leg day and hopefully burn up my feelings <laughs>
touch on a little bit of what I'm doing. So we started with hamstring curls. That was really to work up kind of the structural muscles that are gonna help me find stability, especially within the knee in heavier compound movements. Then we moved to the modified leg press. It's a hack squat, but because the back is elevated, it's more of a leg press. Um, heavily quad focused, really working that length and range. So after that, we push some massive weight, come over here to the leg extension, work the shortened range, get that peak contraction at the top. Then we'll move back over to uh, hamstring movements, finish off the hamstrings for the day, and call her good. Man, the weather here is getting so beautiful. It is like, maybe, it's currently right now 62 degrees. I fucking love this weather, it's so beautiful. I don't feel bad for Minnesota where I used to live, because they're dealing with snow right now. Anyways, I definitely burnt my feelings out during that leg day, and whoo, man, that was an intense one. I hit some PRs, and that's probably due to the more food. Of course, drugs play a little help there too, but I'm feeling really good. Endorphins are going, endocannabinoids are going, things are firing. We're gonna go eat some food. I have a meeting with a market buyer right now or an ad buyer. If, if you don't know what those are, Google it. Um, you'll be working for my company and we'll be going over how to target ads for the direct population we're looking for. And unfortunately, you YouTube viewers are not typically that population, so you probably won't see any of my ads. But um, yeah, it was a great workout. So, feeling burnt up. Can you get some food, nasal breathe, do my thing. All right, you guys already saw this when I showed you my diet earlier, but right here we have nine ounces of chicken, very high protein, um, 60 grams of cream of rice, or sorry, just rice, I microwave it to make it cooked, and then a kiwi, which I eat before every meal for the digestive enzymes to help digest the protein. This is going down right now. I didn't donate blood, bad news. The reason is that I kind of forgot my driver's license at home when I went to go do it. So. We only went to Trader Joe's to grab some groceries, turkey mostly, didn't actually end up getting to donate blood, but I'll still talk about why it's beneficial. And there's really three reasons I think it's beneficial, especially for the bodybuilding population. The first reason is our hematocrit is always high. The amount of red blood cells we currently have in our globulin or our plasma is extremely high, and that's not good. Our blood gets syrupy, it can clog, and lead to a lot of negative outcomes in general for your kidney health, for your heart health, and brain health. The second thing is that it burns an astronomical amount of calories. To produce red blood cells, it costs about a seven calories per red blood cell and donating them is going to cause a lot of red blood cells to have to be produced to keep up with needs and so that costs about on average seven to nine hundred calories as posted by a study from Harvard and then third and kind of last thing is there's a lot of toxins that can accumulate in blood this is for general population and bodybuilders just using plastics eating foods that are wrapped in plastics and using the compounds that we do that blood pollution in a sense can be pulled out through blood donation so that's why I do it regularly I recommend you should too no matter what your circumstances are so I am very rudimentary when it comes to meal prep I just do what's easy and quick people often ask me how I cook like a week's worth of food in one setting this is it. I mean, it's very simple. Just putting all the meat into something that I can cook a batch in. So that's either a slow cooker or in this case, the turkey's going in the oven to make like turkey loaf, essentially. I don't really care. I don't have a fascination with food really. So it's just gonna, what's gonna get done quickest, serve the most utility and not drain all my time of the day so I can focus on more money making and bodybuilding type activities. So then what I do with everything once it's cooked is I throw it in these big Tupperware just like this guy here. Um, transfer my meatloaf turkey from there to here. Chop it all up. It's good to go for the week. That's how I always do it every time. 
All right, YouTube, it has been a day. I am going to call the video here. I appreciate you guys staying tuned with me. Hopefully, you found some of those workouts useful. Um, hopefully, you found the way I meal prep useful. And hopefully, a little bit of blood work that I talked about you found useful as well. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Don't remember, do remember, prep brain, to hit the bell button.